Carl Maybeck's father, Wilhelm Maybeck, was a significant player in the development of the German carmaker Maybeck, and he carried on his father's business. Wilhelm was born into a carpenter's family as early as 1846 in the city of Heilbronn. Willie was just 10 years old when his father passed away. He was taken in by Pastor Werner, who set up a sort of brotherhood house. At the age of 15, Wilhelm traveled to Rutlingen to work at the latter's machine building plant. Wilhelm attended the town's non-classical secondary school for graduation and started studying theoretical mechanics and English. Wilhelm studied the sciences with a clear objective. The Rutlingen factory's technical director noted a gifted young man and extended an invitation for him to work at his firm, which produced internal combustion engines, also known as ICE, as a reflection of his talents and high workability. Gottlieb Daimler served as this company's technical director. He collaborated with Wilhelm Maybeck on the development of a movable, as opposed to stationary, ice that was tiny, compact, and light. Lingen, one of the owners of the company Dutz, wasn't opposed to this notion, but Otto, the other owner, didn't accept it in any way. Thus, G. Daimler relocated from Karlsruhe to Bad Konstadt and established his own company. In 1882, 36-year-old Wilhelm had already decided to accompany Goldlieb. Maybach agreed to a deal in which he would be in charge of technical design and would be compensated handsomely if it led to commercial development. A year later, Maybach created his stationary ice. The construction involved the engine, functioning on coal gas. Next, a sample with a working volume of 1.4 liters and a capacity of 1.6 horsepower appeared. The next stage was the development of a revolutionary ignition system that used an incandescent tube to ensure the engine would run sustainably and steadily, even at low speeds. Later, a single-cylinder, air-cooled engine with a horsepower rating of 0.25 at 600 RPM debuted. In other words, Maybeck continuously went after excellence, modernization, and renewal of already existing objects, earned an increasing number of patents for his innovations, streamlined structures, and even attractively designed them. A vaporizing carburetor, which enabled him to stop using coal gas and begin utilizing liquid fuel, materialized as a consequence of his work and skill. With the help of Maybeck's son Carl and Daimler's son Paul, a groundbreaking technological event occurred in the fall of 1885. Tests of the Wilhelm engine used to propel a motorbike were conducted. Both a constant engine speed and two-speed options, 6 and 12 km an hour, were available. Then, in 1889, the first ever V-shaped two-cylinder engine was used to participate in the Paris World Exhibition and tests of the engine on a motorboat and four-wheeled automobile followed. At 900 revolutions per minute, such an engine produced 1.6 horsepower, and in place of the old belt drive system, regular gears were used to move the wheels. With the sale of a patent, this was already profitable. Gottlieb Daimler established a separate workshop for Maybeck and made every effort to help his gifted partner. In the end, the stockholders wanted performance. Maybeck was granted a patent for the creation of hydraulic brakes in 1894 and the Phoenix two-cylinder straight engine debuted the following year. It had a capacity of five horses in 1896 after being steadily upgraded from its initial 2.5 horsepower at 750 RPM. By adding a new radiator to the original design, the performance of the engine was enhanced. The Astro-Hungarian Empire's ambassador to Nice, Emil Jelnik, fitted the engine in a racing vehicle he had built, and on March 21st, 1899, he drove this vehicle to victory in the nice la mountain race. Yelnik performed under the alias Mercedes, and the Daimler firm rapidly came to be known as Mercedes. When Gottlieb Daimler passed away in 1900, Maybeck was left in a supplicant role and forced to struggle to raise his income. His engineering prowess held the entire organization together, but its management did not recognize this. However, it was W. Maybeck who created the first 120 horsepower six cylinder vehicle engine in 1904. Maybeck developed the Mercedes simplex from 40 to 60 and then 90 horsepower until 1904. However, with Daimler's passing, Maybeck's ideas were no longer given the full backing of the corporation. After Max von Dutenhofer, the chain of DMG's supervisory board, passed away in August 1903, this became obvious. The differences of opinion increased. 
Maybeck turned into a motorsports enthusiast by 1906 as a means of showcasing the technology to promote sales. He learned from racing and saw this as a driving force for mass production. Maybach created a six-cylinder engine with an overhead camshaft that was shaft-driven out of his desire to compete in racing. He also mocked the high-voltage, dual-spark-plug solenoid ignition. Sadly, Paul Daimler's considerably more conventional design was chosen instead of Maybach's creative one. Maybach was forced to depart the firm in 1907 after DMG shuttered its test facility under his leadership. Wilhelm Maybach was compelled to leave the company, Daimler, due to his humiliation, and in his 61st year, he turned to Count F. Zeppelin for financial assistance. The latter loved flying machines. Zeppelin helped Maybeck and his son Karl launch Maybeck Motorenbau, an engine-building business near Friedrichshafen on the shores of Lake Baden in 1909. Karl Maybeck ran this company, and after the First World War, his father, who served as the firm's principal consultant, retired at a relatively old age. Maybeck Motorenbau didn't become independent until 1918, and three years later, it unveiled its first automobile betting from the beginning that its goods would be luxurious and dependable. After the war ended in 1919, the Versailles Agreement was ratified. Germany was forbidden from producing airships. Maybeck was compelled to resume producing diesel engines for railroads and naval ships in addition to gasoline engines for automobiles. Germany was experiencing a crisis. Due to financial constraints, several automakers started creating their engines rather than purchasing third-party ones. Spiker, a Dutch business, was the only one to accept to work with Maybeck. Wilhelm, however, rejected the contract up to four times, since the conditions were so disadvantageous. The creator then decided to start making his own machines. The first Maybeck limousines went into production in 1921. The vehicle designer continued to work well into his 80s and had no intention of retiring for a while. Maybeck was dubbed the king of designers by his contemporaries one of the forefathers of the modern vehicle was recognized as a pioneering designer by the German Engineers Association in 1922. It was accurate. Karl Maybeck renewed the first vehicle from the renowned Maybeck brand in the Friedrichshafen factory a year earlier than the 75-year-old engineer was no longer working. The W3, the first Maybeck vehicle, was shown in 1921 at the Berlin Motor Show. The automobile was first advertised as being for extremely rich consumers who value comfort and dependability over outward grandeur. Therefore, they bet on the greatest quality of all units, meticulous assembly, ease of driving, and safety rather than on pricey finishing materials. The W3 had a uniquely shifting mechanism and brakes on all four wheels, unlike other contemporary vehicles that only had two braking wheels. There was no clutch pedal and there were only three of them. First, low hill climbing and reverse. Each one was selected using a different pedal. When the Maybeck 12 was first released in 1929, it had a 12 cylinder engine and an automatic transmission. For his lifelong accomplishments, Maybeck won several accolades. He was named Royal Building Inspector by the Kingdom of Württemberg in 1915. In 1913, he was also awarded an honorary degree by the Stuttgart Institute of Technology. The VDI, Association for German Engineers, presented him with the Golden Grasshoff Medal in 1922, which is the association's top award. On December 29, 1929, Wilhelm Maybach passed away. He was interred at the same Uff Cemetery in Kahnstadt as Gottlieb Daimler. Maybach watched the LZ-127 Graf Zeppelin airships round the world trip during the final year of his life. Driven by a 12-cylinder engine, Carl had created for his company. He was admitted into the Automotive Hall of Fame in 1996 and the European Automotive Hall of Fame in 2004 after his passing. Wilhelm Maybeck passed away, demonstrating to the world that creating an automobile is a complicated process, including all of its parts, rather than simply building a wagon with a motor. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. If you enjoyed watching our content, please leave a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content just like this.